up everybody, Frogs and Jalabi here, and today we have two random battles, no further shenanigans, no talking, let's get it in, shabam, shazoom, random sound effects even though I said no shenanigans, let's get ready to battle, leg up. So I get an artillery, and I'm like, hey, 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 my specialty. So this cricket tune goes for toxic, and I get the fire blast, but it has a sash, but it gets burned. So it's all good. So this cricket tune is down, and then he sends out a Dewat. I'm like, hey, 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 me energy ball. So this Dewat gets an energy ball to the face, and with his two times attack, it exorcises me. I live with 20. I don't even care. Go for the energy ball. That is the dead Dewat. Now. I'm living with 2% and Heracross goes for, for side and gets a crit. Made me sad. But yeah, just notice like all the Pokemon on here, most of them are Little Cup. Like you have Cacnea, Wingo, Meloetta, or not Meloetta, Cacnea, Wingo, Blitzo, and Panseer. And then our ACM has Ralts, Anorith, Corsola. And then Dewata is not fully evolved. Like none of our Pokemon are fully evolved save artillery but anyway i go for the sub because i know he's going to switch and i have hidden power fire i think i'm thinking that can do like a decent amount i was wrong i was so so very wrong so um i go out to my wingle and he goes for the stealth rocks so i go for ice beam hoping to get a freeze i do not get the freeze he goes for rock side gets the crit i do not know if that mattered or not i actually don't even care so I go out to Blitzel. Now this Blitzel goes for me first, gets the X and does 43%. Now I had my prediction pants on, but I still did not see that coming. Like I don't, I did not see the switch coming for whatever reason. And this has hidden power grass, so I could have killed this Corsula, but I don't know. So it goes to the power gem and kills me. So now I go out to my Cacnea. This Cacnea has no grass moves. He doesn't know that. I do it just to bait it out. I know he's going to switch. I go for the sword stance. And then right after that, I followed it up with a sucker punch. So there's his Anorith out of the way, which I'm glad about because that could have been an extreme threat. I go for the sucker punch because he's not going to switch his hair across any. He's not going to do anything about it. It has Mega Horn. He's going to Mega Horn me. So now he brings in his Ralts. I go for the sword stance because I know this can't do anything to me. And he goes for Destiny Bond. So I go for Spikes expecting another Destiny Bond. He goes for Willow Wisp and Miss. Luckily. I was sucker punch expecting him to attack. He doesn't. He goes for Willow I'm like whatever. Or Destiny Bond. I'm like whatever. So I go for the spikes. He goes for the Will of Mist. Gets the burn this time. I go for another layer of spikes, and he goes for Trick Room. So now that he has Trick Room up. I'm thinking he's gonna attack, but I'm gonna give it a turn. So he goes for um, Psychic, and I go for Drain Punch just to get a little bit of HP back and to see if he's gonna attack or not. So he goes for Psychic, I'm guessing, and I go for Sunker Punch, and that is a dead. Rocks. So now his last thing is a Corsula. I go for the he goes for the power gem. I go for the drain punch. And that's the dead Corsula. And so yeah, um, that was that battle. And there's gonna be another one attached to this. So yeah, stay tuned. So in this battle, I lead off with this Red Ramen. He leads with the Carablast. This Carablast goes for return. I go for Dragon Claw. Just uh, I don't know, just just as it moves. So uh, he goes for return. Get the crit. I go for the fusion bolt, and there's there goes a dead Carablast, in case you wonder what it looked like. So now he goes out to Loudred. I go for Draco Meteor, um, because I'm knowing this thing's gonna die, so I'm just getting a little bit more damage. I really don't care for this Zephyron, because I don't really need it looking at his team. So I go out to my Illamize, or Illamise, go for the Bug Buzz. Goes out to his Tentacruel, sets up Toxic Spikes. I go for the T-Bolt, that's 37%. That is, that is very pitiful. It doesn't matter though. So I go for Encore. And so now he's setting up Toxic Spikes again. He switches out the next turn, which I would do the same thing. I go for Thunderbolt, and he goes out to his Inferno. I put Time Pass into my Salamence. Um, I, uh, he goes for Stone Age, but he misses. He goes for Stone Age again, hits this time. But I go for Draco Meteor, and yeah, there's that's 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 a dead Inferno as well. So I get the attack or uh, special attack lower. Doesn't really matter. He goes for a knockoff. Knocks off my leftovers. I go for Roost, so I don't really care. I switch out to my Duosion. Uh, he goes for a Sludge Bomb, gets a crit, almost kills me, outspeeds me, and goes for knockoff, which does not kill me. So yeah, uh, 
they're, they're those are useless play, except I knocked off my light board, but I guess that doesn't matter. So I killed the, I killed the, I killed the tentacruel, uh, and he goes out to this primate, which I was beating with ice punch. I know, sad, right? So he goes for stone edge, crits me, and there goes my salamence. So now I have a lombre, a chin, a chin chow, and an illumise to take on primate and a mushana. I go for the leech seed, knowing he's gonna want to stay in because he has the attack boost. So he goes for Stone Edge. I'm toxic. He loses 10%. I go for Skulls, hoping to get the burn. Doesn't happen. So he dies to leech seed, or no, he lives with 1% to leech seed. Goes for Ice Punch and kills me. But then he dies to um, Light Orb this turn. So I guess it's Chen Chao's on a balloon, yeah. So uh, I go for the Scald on Musharna. That does nothing. It goes to T Wave. And fortunately for him, this does not have Volt Absorb. So he goes for Shadow Ball, gets a defense drop. I go for T Wave, paralyze him because, yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to be slower than you. So I go for the Scald, hoping to at least just do some good damage, do some decent damage. Go for Scald. I'm trying to take it down to the point where I know Bug Bug will kill. So I'm just Scalding, just Scalding. It's paralyzed, so that's helping me out a lot. Scalding again, and right now it's at about 50%. So I'm like, okay, I should be able to, I should be able to kill. So he goes for like this is the part I don't get. He goes for Trick Room, and then which makes him faster. Next turn he goes for Heal Bell, which makes him slower. So now he just killed his Musharna because he used Heal Bell after he used Trick Room. I mean, I don't understand it, but he said it was on accident. I don't know. It gave me the win. I was going to win anyway. But yeah, that was just, uh, that just stunned me. So I hope you enjoyed these two battles. If you did, um, comment, uh, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. You can't see it right now, but I'm doing thumbs up. And uh, yeah, remember you're a rose in a field of daisies. Deuces.